For me, growing up, it was a big part of how our family connected was going to the mountains. I lived like 30 minutes away from Alpenthal and the mountain was open from like 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. So after school, we could go skiing. After work, parents could take us skiing. It was just woven into our daily lives. Never thought it was, you know, possible to have it be a profession. It was just the passion that drove it. Yeah. You know, for me and my style of skiing, it was never competition based. So it's so much more like backcountry skiing and free ride skiing, feeling that like sense of empowerment. You're finding these, you know, these big jumps or these big lines, skiing something you like didn't know that you could. I think the best training is whatever gets you outdoors and moving. That looks different. Sometimes it's going to the gym and lifting weights and like doing some like rigorous strength workouts. And sometimes it's going out and riding a mountain bike. Mountain biking is kind of the best cross training for skiing because it, a lot of it feels the same. You're going fast through trees and it's reactionary and it's adrenaline based. And so probably the best sport that both helps me train physically and mentally. I definitely think it's a balance because I think part of the mental game is also giving yourself kind of like time and decompress. For me, like sea kayaking wasn't something that I initially thought that I would be attracted to. I think that I'm such a like adrenaline based person in a lot of my other aspects of life. It's more of a vessel to kind of connect with the outdoors and with the ocean and get a view into that world that feels like so far from the land. Kings become a place that I've really found myself and also become like lens that I see the world. And so I hope to see myself skiing for, you know, many years to come, whether that's professionally or just in my own life. I'm Sophia Ruchis and I'm a ski ambassador for Outdoor Research.